I was trying to come up with an analogy of how good this vacuum cleaner is, and I failed. But it's amazing. We're not really good at vacuuming. That's a that's a chore that we just never seem to get done. And I was like, 300 bucks seems like it'd be worth it to try a vacuum cleaner that we can tell to go out every night and go vacuum. This is the Eufy 30C. It is a part of our family and will be for a while. We've had it about six months now. It started throwing an error code and we ended up having to get a battery replaced. It was under warranty. They just sent us a new one. So that wasn't that big of a deal. But other than that, and uh, flipping it over, cleaning out the brushes, this thing's really dirty. I should clean this up so you guys can actually see what it looks like nice. One sec, that's better. It's all shiny now, it actually cleans up nice. It's kind of a, uh... actually I think that's a tempered glass. Or a glass, I shouldn't say tempered. I don't know if it's tempered or not, but it's glass, so cleans up real nice. Anyway, what I was saying was that all we've had to do so far is, I mean, of course you empty the bin, right? This just pops right out. And every time it goes out and vacuums, it'll vacuum for about an hour and a half. And this is usually about full. So on the bottom, you've got the little brushes here. Yeah. And you can pop these out <laughs> in order to clean it, which mine does need some cleaning. Got to pull some hair off of that guy. Go ahead and stick this back in here. Yeah, but... Yeah. Jacob, do you, do you ever have to go find the vacuum cleaner? Yeah. Where does it hide? Does it hide under the couch? Yeah. Yeah. So it will get stuck, especially if we don't clean the toys well enough. So if it rolls up onto a ball or something and then ends up getting caught up on something. These wheels do have a pretty good range of height. Um, so it'll jump up between the, uh, the carpet and the brick floor pretty well between the two levels. It'll yeah. jump up under rugs. It's fine. Yeah. Um, works well so you got the two little yeah. charging pads here it yeah. puts itself up on the charger so this one is Wi-Fi compatible yeah. so it's got the uh, Eufy app that you connect up to it you can tell it to go start cleaning yeah. you can go grab it set it in the spot yeah. and do a circular clean like let me show you here if we put it here and we go open up our app Jacob you think we should make it clean in circles yeah all right let me go bring my Eufy home up, app up so if we go into the Eufy app here and hit mode and hit the circle. There we go. So you sit the little circle thing there. So now it's just gonna do its little uh, run in circles thing. So if you wanted to do some spot cleaning, this is the way to do it. Now this uh, vacuum cleaner has a smart sensor. I forget what they call it, but it will determine how much junk it's picking up and it will run its uh, vacuum accordingly. So it'll just sit here in the uh, vacuum in circle. It'll go all the way out and then it'll come and circle back in. It works pretty well for spot cleaning if someone spilt something and you wanna go ahead and clean it up before it goes out and vacuums that night. We've just got ours set up to vacuum at midnight every day and it works really well. So, I mean, obviously it's not grabbing like the bedrooms and all the hallways, but we've got the, um, the laundry room, the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room all in one closed off area. We've got a magnetic strip in front of the fireplace to keep it trying, from trying to mount the fireplace. And it has gone on over 180 missions for us picking up dirt. And that's 180 missions that we didn't have to do. And yes, it takes an hour and a half to vacuum that and it would probably take us 15 minutes, but it does it every night. It does not make a whole lot of noise. It's certainly quieter than a normal vacuum cleaner which I consider a win. Do you like the robot vacuum? Yeah. Yeah, what's your favorite part about the robot vacuum? I, I like it to clean. You like it to clean? Do you like chasing it around and shooting Nerf darts at it? Yeah. Wait, so it doesn't just run at midnight? It does, yeah, sometimes it runs in the morning and while I'm making breakfast, it's a distraction. Rose yeah. chases it, he chases it. I get peace. So do you think it cleans? I think it cleans really well. I mean, just the amount of dust that it picks up every day is astonishing. It doesn't work as well on the wood as, or on the hard surface as it does on the carpet though, I think. Which I mean, I guess is kind of hard to quantify, but I feel like when it goes over the hard surface, it tends to just fling it. And eventually if it goes over it enough times, it picks it up. When I do sweep, it's not like, it's not like the floor is filthy, like I haven't swept in, in months. So it does like maintain it well. But 
there will definitely be like sections like in between the table legs will always have a lot of junk crumbs and stuff which is really a place that it can't get well it can not... now but it still it still doesn't get under the table very well and it's probably just because you know there's chairs around it and so it just it has a hard time navigating that space but it's wonderful like it's the best purchase we've made in a while <laughs> because it does keep things maintained every time that i mopped i would want to sweep before i mopped just to make sure that all the dirt and dust was up but it's not <laughs> I don't, I don't feel like it leaves so much dirt on the floor that I need to then go behind it and sweep or go behind it and vacuum. When it vacuums the living room, it does a really good job. And I haven't actually vacuumed the living room in a long time. I remember Dude. trying to research what Roomba to get and it was like, there's 1200 different models and it seems like half of them are the same. That, uh, was, that was kind of frustrating. Though Yuffie was kind of the same yeah, way. Yeah, I was gonna say, Yuffie was kind of the same like, way. Like we ended it? up buying the 30C and like the 35C, I couldn't find a difference. It seemed like the same vacuum cleaner. And I think the basic Yuffie is like 150 bucks, but it doesn't have, I think it's got slightly less suction mm -hmm. and it doesn't have the Wi-Fi, so you can't, you can't control it from the Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. Um, which is handy like when it gets lost, which we don't have a huge area that it can get lost in. But it gets but under if the it, couch. But if it does get lost and it still has battery, you know, if you haven't left it for three days, because <laughs> it will run itself down. Um, if it does get lost, then you can you can sound an alarm on it so that you can find it. That is nice. So it'll, it'll play Marco Polo with you. But if you don't have that feature and you do have a three-year-old, you can just send your three-year-old out to find it. Yeah, and then he'll go look under the couch and say it's not there. and then <laughs> Even though it is there. And you can go say oh, it's, it's under the couch. Yeah. But no, he does. He'll go. He's real he'll reliable. Go, he'll go find it and pull it out and go stick it on the charging station so it can yeah. That's charge. most often how it gets used in the morning, is that he goes and finds it and he turns it on. He turns it on. Yeah. Which, to be fair, our, our charging station, you have to go through a doorway to get back to the charging station. Yeah. So it'll usually stop vacuuming when it still has like 20 minutes worth of drive around time. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's probably about 20 minutes. Probably and it trying feels like to find home. We've, we've let it go during the day, and then it's tried to find home, and it's like, after about 15 minutes, sometimes it'll be like, I'm just going to put you out of your misery. Yeah, it's just bouncing around the living room, trying to find the dining room so it can go charge. Um, but at night, I mean, like, I think it's at least half the time that it ends up on the charger. Yeah. And some of the times when it doesn't end up on the charger, it's because it got stuck on something, which is a toy or... Or a uh, cord. Or I yeah. left the, as, <laughs> as Lauren put it, the, um, was it the vacuum trap? Yeah, it's the vacuum yeah. trap. I left the, the doors to the utility closet open and there's a little uh, a hole in there that it can just fall into. So um, definitely can't get out of that. Yesterday yeah. it started at noon because on Sundays I had it going at noon. <laughs> and it ran for, for some reason. four minutes. Yeah, it ran for four <laughs> minutes. So it made it right into the laundry room and into the trap. It can be pretty loud in the kitchen. Like it's yeah. one, it's one of those things where it's like, if the Roomba or if the Yuffie is running and the children are running around screaming, it is too much for my anxiety and I have to turn one of them off. But we got a sliding door between the living room and the kitchen. So, yeah, or so living I can, room and the dining room. So I can so trap like, it into the living room if, yeah. I, if I need some peace if I'm working in the kitchen. Because sometimes you just want to let it run and then see that the floor has random lines all over the place and be like, ah, it did things. Oh, it's, clean. <laughs> it's clean. Even though our carpet in here is ridiculously really stained gross. and yeah. gross, it's still nice to know that it's at least clean on the first few millimeters. <laughs> yes. We did pay for it ourselves. But on the other hand, we'll also put an affiliate link down below. So if you want us to get a small <laughs> kickback, you could just use that to order it. It'd be cool. It certainly seems like a good product. Yeah, definitely would recommend. And you want to say bye, Jacob? Bye, Jacob. <laughs> you say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Thumbs up the video. Tell us if you bought one. Tell us if you have one. Yeah. What are your experiences? There's or a even lot of different, like different brands. brands. Yeah. yeah. Different brands. Because I'd be curious to know if like... I would think having a dog would be a huge use case yeah. for something like this. So I'm curious if people have brands that work really well for dogs, even if we don't have one. Yeah. Um, curious if, if the brand that you have worked well for dogs. So tell us down in the comments below.